You own a TDI, a TD5? Yes. Now you've got a TD4 as well? Yeah. Which one do you prefer noise-wise? Which appeals to you? Because there are different camps. Well, the TD5 is, a, is the best sounding vehicle. Uh, no doubt about that. The 300 TDI has a really, a, a sort of interesting sound, which I, I'm very familiar with and, and actually very fond of, apart from the kind of diesel sound, which affects my ears. Um, the Puma is quieter, but it doesn't, the, 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 the sound that it makes is not, is not really very pleasant. It's not very interesting. Yeah. Be so exciting. a good TD5 um, is the best by a long shot because it's got a real growl. Mm. The 300 TDI is nice because it's got a sort of old fashioned clattery sound, which, and if they're in good condition, and if they've had a little bit of noise suppression, uh, noise uh, sound deadening, um, deadening in the in the bonnet or on top of the, the motor, uh, they can actually sound very nice as well. Yeah. So Puma comes last in my opinion. Yeah. It's a, it's an anemic sound. Yeah. 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 It's not very uh, charming. No, not really. We've just talked about the TD4 being being the least interesting engine. TD5 has got that real nice sound. Yeah. But in your experience, you've been places into yeah. deserts. Which is the best engine for off-roading? Okay, uh, the worst the worst motor in my opinion off-roading is TD5. It doesn't, yeah, because it doesn't have a huge amount of torque. Uh, they're, they're good strong motors. I mean, a TD5 in good condition is very good, very robust. Um, and they put out quite a lot of power. And if you chip a, a TD5, they say that you can, get, you can get them going faster than a Puma. Um, I don't know if you can get them going faster than a chip Puma, but anyway. Uh, you know, TD5 fans tend to be very strong on TD5s. The best vehicle off-road by a mile is the 300 TDI. So, uh, and you've got a 200 TDI, which is not a lot, di not a lot different. Oh, so, I love it. So you know what I'm, I'm talking about. The Puma is surprisingly good off-road. It's got this crawler first gear, which makes life very easy. It's got all the electronic wizardry, which means that you don't have to have any skill off-road at all to go somewhere, almost impossible. It's got the traction control, it's the diff lock, you know, the standard Land Rover diff lock and everything. It all works extremely well. And of course you can be, you shove it into first or second gear in low range, you can take your foot off the accelerator and it'll do all the hard work for you. You've only got to steer. Mm. And and it's, it's, to my mind, it's amazing. So. Off-road, 300 TDI first, Puma second, TD5 third. Right. That's just my experience. Yeah. On-road, Puma by a mile, followed by the TD5, followed by the 300 TDI. You can actually hear yourself think in this car. Yeah. It's really unusual in a Land Rover. I'm not sure how your experience is. Uh, yeah. And you guys, you yeah. let us know in the comments below what you think is better. But yeah, I agree totally with that. The TDI is also more of a technical drivers car off-road you need to reduce your head a little bit and your gas pedal and the clutch and yeah. be a bit more aware of what you're doing exactly this does everything